Welcome back to Laughing in the Dark, the podcast where I hang out in haunted places with comedians. I'm your host, Sarah Jones. For this episode, I got to hang out with the very funny Becky Bronstein. Becky has performed at most of the major comedy festivals across the country, including Bridgetown, Laughing Skull, San Francisco Sketch Fest, Big Sky, and All Jane. She's also been featured on Audible and will soon be heard on Sirius XM. Becky hosts an amazing comedy show called Becky with the Good Jokes in Portland, Oregon at the Funhouse Lounge. You can also find clips of Becky with the Good Jokes on YouTube if you're not in Portland. Becky and I went to Lafayette, Oregon to check out Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery in the middle of the night, and we found ourselves in the middle of a true adventure. If you'd like, check out our Instagram at LitDarkPodcast, that's L-I-T-D-A-R-K Podcast, for photos that go along with the episode. When we first got to the cemetery, we parked on a small dirt road right next to it and set up our mics. While we stood in front of the cemetery and began to explore our location, a pickup truck pulled up about five feet away from us, parked their car, and turned their lights off. Now here's the deal. Technically, we really were not supposed to be there. I found out that the cemetery was heavily guarded by the police and likely people who lived down the road. So I fully expected someone to get out of the truck and tell us we really shouldn't be there and ask us to leave. We immediately felt nervous about being approached, and both of us had very different defense mechanisms. My chosen method was to read the no trespassing sign out loud and pretend to just be realizing just then that we were prohibited from being there, essentially playing dumb. Becky's defense mechanism, on the other hand, was to pretend to be an armed murderer, prepared and, dare I say, enthusiastic to kill again. While both of us floundered with this dynamic, we began to realize that the car was parked very close to us with their lights off and nobody was getting out of the vehicle, which started to make us both very nervous. We both silently agreed to get back into my car, lock the doors, and, terrified, decided what we should do next. This was one of those moments where the living was surely more terrifying than the dead. Here's the adventure. I hope you love it. We are walking into the woods. Just there's a fence here with a lock on it, like an iron rusted fence with a padlock and a chain. And it's just saying to me, do not come in here. Should we just walk over this? We're just gonna jump this fence. Yeah, She's gonna jump the fence. I'm gonna slowly <laughs> <laughs> try to climb over this thing. Oh, okay, that was <laughs> yowza. Well, that is shot time. We are in the dark. And we're looking up at a sign that says Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery What's established funny? 1850. What's funny is the sign oh. is like handwritten. But the typography is actually like, oh shit, a car's coming. Fuck, what do we do? I don't know. I think we're allowed to be here. Are we? Am I allowed to swear on your podcast? Are yeah. we about to get arrested? I don't know. I think we're about to get arrested. No, I think we're okay. But we are just uh, some simple photography students taking yeah. pictures in the dark, and we might be armed. I'll kill again. I don't care oh, if I go back to prison. I don't give a fuck. Do not use on headstones. Yeah. Pro- what is prohibited to be here? Cemetery hours. Well, there's a truck that's like backing up towards us. Yeah, they're probably telling us we have to leave. How did they well, even know we were here? I don't know. Well, but we can walk around. Yeah, I mean, we could stand here in the parking lot. Yeah. I will do anything to survive. I am prepared to kill. <laughs> That's not necessary. Good thing we're broadcasting live. No, we're not. To some people who are <laughs> thirsty for revenge. And will definitely kill anyone who tries to do hurt me in any way. Do you want to walk around the perimeter then? Sure, I got my gun. It's going to be A-OK. What's weird is I don't see any gravestones. Well, you know what? (laughs) Here's the thing. Here's the thing. A pickup truck has pulled up and parked and nobody got out. So we are going to be the bigger man and hit the road. Okay. So 
Now what? Well, we either wait them out and then head back out into the trees ourselves, or we are in a real life, holy shit, what is happening mystery right now <laughs> in the dark in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. Should we? I think we're going to stand off with that pickup truck. I say we wait them out. They didn't get out of their car. Let's watch them. See what they do. You know, maybe maybe they're the teenagers that are making out. Oh, maybe that's are. the senator with his mistress. You know what I mean? Could be. I say, do what you gotta do. They're probably thinking the same thing, though. <laughs> yeah. Somebody in a pickup truck more likely to have a gun than us. That True. stuff about me having a gun, that was a lie. I'm sorry <laughs> for lying, but I wanted them to hear me and to be yeah, afraid of us. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, what should we do? I say we wait them out. And uh, if they don't go, then we just go somewhere else down the road. I don't know. How long could they possibly be there? You know, we could what do. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> we should call the cops on them. Like, there's a weird pickup truck at the cemetery right now. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck could they be doing? And then the cops will be like, what are you doing there? And we'll, we'll like, be like, well, we were just, we were okay. scoping the place out. <laughs> Is this like a drug deal about to happen? Maybe. And we're like witnesses now? Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I know what we should do. I know I what we should no do. no snitch. I'll tell you that right no, now. No, me neither. Snitch I didn't see snitching. shit. I didn't hear do shit. Do you want to do this? Do you want to drive to like a park or something and sit in the park? I'll tell you the story. And then we can come back and check it out. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's or do we that. could just go down the road and like find another creepy little like pull out location. Well, here's we're the leaving thing. forever, pick up, goodbye forever. We're never coming back here. And then we'll just wait and see if they go. And then we'll come back. No, because the thing that worries me is what you just said, is that if it is a drug deal, which it easily yeah. could be. It totally could be. They might be sketched out about us. Yeah. Which is not good when it comes to... Yeah, you don't want people being sketched in a drug deal. Exactly. Nothing should ever yeah. be sketched in any way, shape, or form. So let's just uh, give them a minute to do what they need to do. Right. Everybody's just gonna take a break now and do what they need to do. <laughs> Listeners at home, go to the bathroom, get a get a snack. You know what I mean? Take a minute. <laughs> snack. Take a load off. You know. Do what you gotta do to and, feel comfortable. Because uh, we'll, we'll be back. We're very comfortable. I'm so comfortable right now. I'll tell you what. I am cool as a cucumber. I am not nervous. That didn't scare me to death. <laughs> Shit. The, that that truck coming up on us. Yeah. Parking right no. by where we were standing. That was fine. Yeah, yeah no. I felt actually more comfortable with them there. Yeah, it was like a stuffed animal. It was like a therapy mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. It was a therapy truck that arrived in the darkness yeah, to comfort that, us. That, yeah. And, um, you know, ghosts, that's the scary thing. Not people in, in pickup trucks on country roads in the darkness. No. Certainly not that. I'm certainly not less threatened by... Hang on, I can't even sarcasm my way out of that. I'm definitely more terrified of the living. No, I'm peeing dead. myself right now. Like, I can't. This is, <laughs> I thought, this is how it ends. Okay. Uh-huh. They're going to be like, local comedian dies on a podcast adventure. And I'll be like, local? Great. And and the worst part is I would be nobody. I'm just the host no, of No, yeah. The you're podcast. just, they're like, who the hell is she? Like yeah, I don't know. chick also happened to At be least there. I was a local comedian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might know her from, you get like all this yeah. press. From her hit show. Becky with the good jokes. <laughs> but you probably don't, so. <laughs> okay, uh, great. So. We are now driving along country roads in the middle of nowhere with complete darkness. We have no idea where we are. We're just like driving yeah. through the darkness right now. It's... It probably would be really pretty if we weren't like shitting our pants right now. But, but it is really pretty. The sky is like a very dark blue. There's mm-hmm. like just enough light to make out the outlines of the trees. Trees are it's like outlined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're silhouetted against the sky. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's really nice. And I think of myself as such a creature of the darkness. But then the pickup mm-hmm. truck rolls up and I am reduced well, to a pissing truck, infant. I mean, you have to remember too, like we're in like a very rural, like it's a small yeah. towny area. Yeah. It's a dirty red yeah. pickup truck that came up on us. Was it red? I thought it was like blue and like had like wood trim maybe. I don't know. I didn't oh, get the license plate. It's dark. I don't know. But it, it looked dark. like red to me. Could have been red. But it was like old and like rustier. Oh man. And um and the weird thing is is they pulled up yeah. right by where we were and they parked their car 
Yeah. And turned off their lights. And they didn't get out. And didn't get out. Yeah. And I stood there waiting because I thought maybe a cop was going to come out sure. or something and the be like, hey guys, keepers. what are you doing here? Yeah, get You're out. not supposed to be here. It's prohibited after yeah. dark. But we just stood there like jackasses and yeah. waited and nothing happened. Yeah. We are unarmed. We're unarmed. Uh, and I feel very naked at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> what oh, is this? Is this? This looks like maybe a cult could live here. Uh -huh. It's like a huge oh, barn yeah, looking building with like a light on inside. Yeah. Where oh, no fuck? trespassing. <gasps> okay, we have to turn around. Here. Okay, we have to get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, what we're the just fuck is this? Okay. What are those people doing? They're in a cult. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this what is the most eventful episode this is thus far. Um, should we put something into like the GPS? I don't know oh. what we would put in. Well, since we are in a moving vehicle and it is very dark and they well, can't see our license plate, to? let's yeah, let's pop back there and see if old uh, truck trucky pants has left. Trucky pants. Which way did I turn? I'm into not trying here? to put your business Flat in the street, three. but you just got a match on Tinder. And also, <laughs> what is your phone password? Oh, one 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 three one three. One 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 three one three. I have a great memory because I sing numbers. Wow, you got a lot of shit on your phone. Look Thank at these you. apps. You have you. you have the Reddit app? Uh huh. What do you do with your time? Uh that. <laughs> Alright, Google. Oh, no. We're going back to the cemetery because we are women of the nineties. Independent, strong, nineties shit. <laughs> Reality. Let's go. Continue on northeast you Delaware hear that? That's Road Google. One mile. Thank you, Google, for letting us know that. What did that. you put in there? Uh the cemetery? Just, okay. Okay. So this may not be straight, enough right? time, but yeah, like I think we just go just keep on going oh there we go now we're aiming the right way we're going to be curving around to the right if they point. are still there we should just find a park close by they and probably I'll tell you the should. story because otherwise we'll be here till four in the morning yeah exactly and that's we'll what I'm get thinking. on the news <laughs> not in a good way um but yeah if they're still there we should just go somewhere close by mm -hmm. And then we'll come back and take a look as long as we can. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. totally fine. Like, we'll give them two chances. One, the immediate chance for them to bug out now. Two, mm -hmm. after we go talk in the park. But now here's the other discussion point. Oh, God. If they are gone, uh -huh. do we just get do out we do and... do the same thing? We just park in the same spot? And... Do you have anything that could be used as a weapon in your car? Something heavy? Some kind of blunt object that I could pick up and swing? Like I put silly string in your bag. <laughs> In your gift bag. Okay, listen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends, we have... I have a gift bag. She gave me a gift bag because I like gift bags. I do that at my show. We, I, I'm, I'm hearing that we have silly string in it. I don't know why I'm repeating it. Like, you just heard it. Like I, Yeah, it's... Well, it's worth repeating. We are going to defend ourselves in the cemetery in the middle of the night with it's silly purple, string. Silly because, string. Purple silly string. Because that... It, we're going to use what we have. Because laughing in the dark, man, that's... Sometimes, you know... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Great. Okay. How, how are we doing? Am I still going the right way? Yep. Great. Just keep on trucking. Um, oh, well. It hasn't said anything yet. No, yeah, no. <laughs> Goodbye, truck. Yeah, no Let's more truck. Get the truck out of here. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Okay, we have a quarter mile until we're back at the truck. I wonder if, like, the truck guy lives around here and Maybe. saw someone go park there and he's like, uh-oh, nope, we're getting them out of here. Yeah, and he's like, oh, this always works, watch. And he's just, like, parking and, like, sitting there, like, yeah, if I park and oh, sit here, they'll totally out. leave. Does it? Is that about we were the in there? cemetery? Was that the cemetery? Is that, this is the cemetery. Yeah, this is the cemetery. Are they still there? Is that the truck? Okay. All right. Well, fuck this. We're out of here. I'm not messing with that truck, man. No, no, no. Shut up, Google. We're not doing that. No. Nope. I don't know what they're doing, but we're not part of it. Yeah. No. Okay. So should we punch in like a park or some sort of? Yeah. Look, there's like nice neighborhoods right here. Should we just knock on somebody's door or like? We should not. Oh wait, there's people sitting out right there. Just punched in park. Are those teenagers? They got a they fire. Like, they might know, like, what. Let's interview them. Can we oh, do that? Let's do that. Let's, let's find out. That. We got to get to the bottom of this. We're solving this mystery. <laughs> Sorry, we? you're the host of this, and no, I'm like taking no, over. Like, this is Becky with the good over. jokes. This yeah, is Becky, Becky with, with the, the horrifying jokes. nightmare of this a is tale a, here. Yeah, mashup. Okay, great. Okay. I love it. We are in a creepy um, neighborhood that's like a suburban hill where, like, all the houses are, like, way too close together, but it looks like E.T. is going to break out at any moment. Yeah, that does. Well, yeah. 
why don't we just park on a random side street okay. and go up to those people having a fire? There's people yeah. sitting in their front yard yeah, just like having out in a the fire driveway. Out. We want to talk to. Why don't we talk to them about the cemetery? Yeah, I'm dying to know what's going on. We'll yet. tell them about the truck. But we'll also we'll ask like, them about, like, hey, do you think it's cool if we're like down there, or is yeah. it like really not allowed? Are people selling drugs with yeah. guns? Yeah. Okay. Where were they? Were they? They up were here? up on the corner. It was like up on the main street, like right yeah, off the corner. Yeah, I think it was right up here. This is amazing. Okay, should we park here and, and lock up so it's not that oh, weird, or is it? Should we? I mean, if we like park and get out, then yeah. no, are we with like the government? Like who does yeah, okay, that? Yeah, okay, let's just. Well, they're right there. We're like let's Scully just... and Mulder. This is so exciting. We're solving a mystery. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna go up to them. Are you gonna talk to them first, or should I? I don't know. Just whatever feels natural. Okay. I'll be the good person. You be the bad one. <laughs> I'll be the bad guy. <laughs> I'll be Mulder. Good call back. You be Scully. I'm gonna bring my notebook just in case yeah, we decide write to hang it out down. there. All right. I mean, we are recording all this, but write it anyway. <laughs> I'm getting out of the car. We are walking up the street. She's walking a lot faster than me. I'm trying to keep up. Look, my foot kind of hurts. My knee hey is a little guys. swollen. I'm doing the best I can to keep up. Can we ask you a question? We are approaching the people. Okay. We're trying to record a podcast. Okay. So I have a podcast where I go to haunted places with comedians. So do you have so a comedian? Hey. Right yeah. Well, we want to. But, but get this. <laughs> like, one, there's no trespassing signs, mm -hmm. which, okay. Yeah. But two, we literally just got there and we're like, here's the sign, here's a picture for Instagram. Mm -hmm. And this truck pulled up mm -hmm. and just stopped. Yep, there's yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, there's people the that are in the property. But they didn't get out, like they, they just sat there. Yeah, they just sat there. They and we were like, out we're out. Well, there's okay. people that live there that'll keep an eye on it. Because they live right down the road. The, the, there's yeah. a road okay. that goes right there. And they there's live right also, there. further down, there's a house that's known for like heroin dealing and stuff. Oh, dude, I knew it. I called that shit. That's what we were worried about. We were like, Let's not mess with it because if yeah. it's like a drug deal, we or could get hurt. it could be teens stopping to get high or they'll go up there all the time. That was just my to other hang out. Yeah, we theory. Could hang out and just yeah. getting wasted up there. Yeah. 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 But the, the cops do come by. Quite they often. patrol off. Well, I figured if a cop came up, we'd just that be like, been oh, sorry. And then they'd yeah. tell us we'd to leave. Just, and we'd yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're you not going to sight you. Yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah, you're fine. If we hear you scream, we, yeah, you, we, we, we can hear <laughs> we can hear everything that happens. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, just like, no, we gave them permission. They're, they're fine. Oh, they're cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Have you guys people, been people up, up there? there? walking around all the time. Oh, yeah. so, oh really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah you it's very we yell at them because they shouldn't be, but you know. Yeah, yeah, the kids well, that are up there for no good. The sheriff, the sheriff was there like an hour ago, yeah. so you probably got at least a good hour or two before he comes back. Okay. <laughs> okay, worst case scenario. Let's say it is the heroin people. <laughs> no. no. Just, I don't I'm know. Just even the worst yeah. case. Yeah. Like, they live way, they're they're way like down the road. Half but, a mile down yeah. Yeah. But if, you look at, if you look at that tree just right, it looks like Fre Freddy Cooper. Yeah, so that's oh, the cool yeah. thing. I was just talking about It's really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. It literally, I mean, it was literally Oh, oh that's so with cool. The hat, every yeah. and all, all Was it the profile? Like the claws too? No, it no, is it's just, just, hand, just, just his face. Yeah. It's a More tree. like Robert Come England. On the there, okay. I have a picture of the tree. Hey, oh, you do? I want to see it. Turn out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the kind of the crooked nose right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It totally and the mouth does. And chin. Do you see? Oops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that could be a dude. See that? Oh, woo! Whoa! We gotta get that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, so you guys think it's cool to just walk down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd be yeah. We'll be back in a <laughs> little okay. bit. Yeah. Bye. Have forgotten. fun. Sure. Have fun. Hey, thank, thank you, you guys. So much. Thanks yep. for being cool. Okay, remember Chris. They could have made those thank names you. up, though. Those could be fake names. <laughs> if, I, if a couple of strangers came up to me when I was roasting marshmallows in my driveway and were like, we want to go to the cemetery, but we're afraid of heroin, people are going to fucking kill us, I would not tell them my real name. <laughs> oh my god, the cops. Oh, wait. I am crossing the street away from Sarah right now because no. the cops yeah. pulled up and now I am acting nonchalant as if I'm just walking around the neighborhood because that is what you do when the police drive by. Oh, he does he hang out. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, the cops are gone. The cops back I'm crossing back over to the people with the fire. I thought she was kidding. So I was like, we'll go down there and then he'll come About back. About five minutes. Okay. And then he comes back through. Yeah, then so we can go. Two of them own us. Yeah. Well, so you guys think since that sheriff just drove by that we're probably cool? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah unless the truck hours. is still there and like ready unless to kill us. Yeah. Well, I'm not dying in a truck, I'll tell you that right now. No, me neither. God. You won't. 
Is it a fire? Volunteer fire oh, department. Fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we all, everyone volunteers the fire department. Oh, cool. Good for you guys. Good for you. I'm much more so comforted. Are, are you? You don't look comforted. sure. Yeah, what a normal night. <laughs> oh, it's kind of normal for me now. <laughs> Ready. Ready? I'm zipping up. I put my hood up. Yep. I will Sleepy not be seen. Yeah. There's firefighters here. We're fine. We got firefighters. Yeah. Sure. With the fire. The, everything's yeah. contained. <laughs> yeah. Exceptionally well. Great. Okay. We'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're okay. heading towards the cemetery for some goddamn fucking reason. I don't even know why we're out here anymore. <laughs> okay, look Jennifer at Jennifer Chapman is running for Yamhill County something. Just <laughs> passed a campaign sign, vote for her. Maybe not, I don't know. Sheriff drove by before and said just it's howdy like duty to us. That yeah. was different. Cops are different here from back home. He that said have fun for sure. we intend He did. To. Yeah, Anchorage police do not want you to have any fun. No. That is Well, I've guaranteed. never been to Anchorage, but from what you tell yeah. me. <laughs> no, I love it, but, uh, you know, it's not for the faint of heart. Neither is Neither this. Neither is this show. Whew, I swear to God, if I die before I get on Conan, I will haunt you <laughs> till the end of fucking time. Why I are they understand. laughing? Why are those people laughing back there? Probably laughing Because they just about pranked us? us? Because they're, they're sending us to our certain guy, death. And they know the guy in the picture. Oh truck. my god. This is all coordinated. There was they're an extra part chair. Of it. Oh my god. He was with that. Oh shit. This is going to turn into, um, what's that? Oh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Can we edit we out the part where I'm like there. panting to death here? Because we are walking very much uphill. Just so everyone knows. Every comedian says that too. Okay. So we're on the side of the road. We're walking up the side of the road. It's kind of, it's like half a dirt road. The stars are out and they are beautiful. Yeah, they are. Holy it's shit. very dark. Yeah, look at that. Look at how clear the sky is. See the Big Dipper, there. which is on the flag of Alaska, pointing towards the North Star, directing me home and away from this place. But we are marching forward anyway. <laughs> I feel like we're in some kind of sick reboot of the Blair Witch Project. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to see any royalties from this. People oh, that, with the is fire. That one of the dippers right there? They're cackling in the background. No, it's right here. It's this guy. And then oh. North Star's that away. Oh. Yeah. Wow, the stars are beautiful. Yeah, it really is quite nice. Okay, I see something along the horizon there. Oh, is it a car? To the right? No. Oh, that's am great. I, am I crazy or. What? I mean, I don't know. I thought it was a person, but it's not moving. Could yeah. be. You think it's grave? Are we alongside the cemetery right now? Yeah, that's the cemetery right there. Okay, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Really? Have any of the other comedians just like panicked and freaked out and like ran away? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I certainly won't either. Okay. Not me, you know? I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> I'm switching on my flashlight. Yeah. So that I can see where I'm going. Oh, which is for that truck. Alerting any potential pickup trucks. Fortunately. Oh yeah, the truck is gone. The truck is gone. That's a really good sign. That is a good sign. Okay. Okay. Let's go down this path right here. Going down a path. Maybe we shouldn't. What? I don't know. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I've had my throat cut three times the same shit. What? Really? Holy shit. Dude. Yeah, all oh, cancer surgeries. Oh yeah. Not like a violent attack. Okay, spider web. Okay, that That's was really biggest shit. To be feared. Well, <laughs> okay. Let's not do that. So let's just jump the fence. Different the direction. <laughs> Jumping the fence. Round two. Sure about this? Okay, we're climbing back over that rusty ass fence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So we're back in the Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery. Yes. The grass is very overgrown. We are gonna get ticks for sure. Do they have ticks out here? I don't know. Because if they do, we're going to get them. We'll find out, I suppose. Okay, where are you going? Oh, I'm walking this way because it just seems like this is the way to go. We should not be out here. For real, like, I've oh, done a lot of crazy it. shit in my life, but this should not be happening. I found the cemetery. <laughs> Look. Okay. okay. This is fucking insane. Truly, this is the most insane thing I've ever done in my life. Good. It's very dark. It's very creepy. We have found the, the gravestones. Okay. Okay. Should we, uh, oh, we can walk along the side here. Can we? Yay. Let's keep, <laughs> let's keep walking. Yeah. That's a great idea. 
Okay, we're going around the edge of the fence. Oh, there's like a lone gravestone outside of the fence. There's there? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, right here. It's like a rogue, uh, rogue stone. It's kind of covered in uh, like moss and dirt, so you can't really read. Oh, you can read on the top. What does that say? Um, uh, S. Smothers? 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 You know? Do you want to go in there and just sit Okay, next to that I am freaked the fuck out. <laughs> really? Yes, but I am saying yes to life. Okay, let's say yes to life. I don't in know that I can get over that fence, though, for sure. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's kind of high. Just like, yeah, um, I'm not good at climbing over shit. But maybe we can find a little easier way in. We should not be out here. We definitely shouldn't be here. If a vehicle comes up, we gotta shut it down. Yeah, I know. I agree. Okay, do you want to sit like- Not really, in this here? tall grass? No yeah, thanks. tall grass. I'm set. <laughs> oh, you don't want to sit? You want to stand um, for it? No, not really. I mean, I guess we should sit. Should we like lay down? Are we having an experience right now? <laughs> no, we don't have to lay down. I'm just gonna lay down in a cemetery, you guys. Okay, let's just sit here. Okay. This is a good spot. Yeah, let's just sit. Sit in a goddamn fucking, are you? I'm gonna get ticks in my head. Mm, you'll be okay. That is what everybody says. I know. Fucking goddamn shit. Piss. Fuck. <laughs> Ow. God damn it. Okay. I'm never gonna get up again. <laughs> you will. I really I won't. I have faith in you. I'll help you up. Your faith is misplaced. I wish you could see this right now, listeners, because... So we are We are having an experience. <laughs> in the tall grass, next to a very small... Very old cemetery, surrounded by a short, what is this, brass fence? Rusted iron, Rusty pointy iron fence. metal fence in the goddamn dark. There's only probably like, how many graves are in there? Like maybe 10? All of them, I don't know. Okay, do you, are you ready to hear the story? I am ready to hear the story, and I'm still breathing hard because mostly I am absolutely terrified. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, so, <clears throat> before I get going, I'm going to go a quick rundown of my sources, okay? Okay. So, www.ci.lafayette.or.us, <laughs> which is really just like the Lafayette City website. Okay. Haunted Oregon, Ghosts and Strange Phenomena of the Beaver State by Andy Lee. www.newlafayette.org, www.dreadcentral.com, www.hauntedplaces.org, and my friend Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe. What the hell does Joe know? <laughs> Joe knows some shit. Okay. Joe doesn't know nothing. So Joe, you don't know in nothing. Lafayette, Oregon. And this is a town located in Yamhill County. It's in the heart of Willamette Valley and wine country of Oregon. This is exciting. The city was founded in 1846 by a pioneer named Joel Perkins. After gold was discovered in California, the town grew exponentially. And by the 1850s, Lafayette had become one of the most prosperous cities in Oregon. I'm not hearing a word you're saying, but please continue. <laughs> okay. No, like my my like flight or flight autonomic nerve system has taken over my body. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. If we need to flight, we will. We okay. have a campfire to go back to. Don't worry. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, Dustin. Dustin. Fucking Dustin. D yeah, don't forget. And Chris. Okay. So later, the Oregon wine industry and tourism helped to continue to expand the city. Um, but they also work to maintain a small town feel and charm, which I would agree with. They've totally nailed that. Yeah, However, this is charming as shit. We are... <laughs> okay, please continue. What? No, I don't know. I'm just, like, freaking out. Okay. However, the Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery seems to harbor a sinister history. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> Do you hear that? What? I mean, it's just the grass. I don't know, whatever. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Legend has it that this cemetery is haunted by an unfriendly and irritable witch. So I've been called a lot of things, but wow. Yeah. Haven't you been called a witch before? I have but... indeed. I was accused of witchcraft by the sixth grade teacher at my elementary school in South Dakota. Was it founded? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you no, dabbled but she, in No, she was. She believed it. She was very serious. Oh shit. Yeah. She, I remember her sitting me down, and, like sliding her glasses down her nose and saying, "People are gonna think you're a witch. Why? Are you a witch?" And I was like, "No, not that I know of. You know, like." And you're like, I'm, I'm waiting to you know for, on I, my letter. In Hogwarts. I I learned I learned some kind of like silly spell thing at like Girl Scout camp, and I was oh, saying yeah. it in the lunchroom or something. And I got it was like you would have thought I was like burning crosses on a <laughs> school lawn. But I, it was a it was a strange place, very small town, very children of the corn, creepy. Yeah. Yeah. This is nothing compared to that. What am yeah. I afraid? Yeah. They should be See, afraid. You're fine. So le legend goes that. An unnamed woman was hanged. Of course. Yeah. 
<laughs> Patriarchy. <laughs> was hanged for witchcraft in the 1800s. And so, like, I did a little more research about uh, when it gets to that point where you're hanged for witchcraft, it's because uh, they have decided that you were guilty of witchcraft. And there were all kinds of fucked up methods of finding someone guilty of witchcraft at that time that were not gentle. Uh, they included branding, whipping, public humiliation, and other more brutal and sometimes lethal methods, like holding the accused head underwater until they drowned. Well, that's just not due process, is it? No, it's really not. I would like to remind the listeners no at home. logic is, yeah. Dude, we are sitting in a goddamn fucking cemetery in the middle of nowhere in the country in Oregon in tall grass that's taller than my head sitting down in the goddamn dark in, in the, the middle, middle, of, middle of nowhere. Yeah. In the middle of the night. It is pitch yeah. dark. I cannot explain this to you. Just trust me. This is the craziest thing. <laughs> it's very exciting. Please go on. Um, <clears throat> right, so another thing they did was called pressing, where the accused would lay with a board over them and rocks were piled upon them until they either confessed or were crushed. Not okay. Uh, another one was called thumb screws, which was a small torture device. Yeah, I heard about that. Similar to a vice. I hadn't heard of That's this That's no good. And they use it to crush your fingers or toes. And then metal shoes called witch's sandals were heated until they were red hot and placed on the accused's feet. That is bullshit, man. Yeah, just like torture. So anyway, so this woman was found guilty of witchcraft. And as she stood at the gallows, it said that she cursed the town of Lafayette, declaring that the town would burn to the ground three times and that each time they would rebuild, the flames would rise again and destroy it. So far, fire has destroyed large portions of this town only twice. Okay, hold the fuck up, because those people we just talked to were volunteer fire department people, and they yeah. said all of them were. Yeah. So what kind of crazy fucking town is everybody in it, a volunteer fire person? Well, some, uh, the fucking cursed town. Oh my there. god! <laughs> Jesus, Mary Ann Johnson! <laughs> We are in the dark in a cursed town surrounded by firefighters. Oh, yeah. It's under the threat of constant witch fire. Oh, we got them. The Dustin and the Chris's. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. Dustin, if man. you fuck us over. <laughs> uh, so, details of this story, however, do become problematic when you look at the uh, truth of what happened. Although the true story is just as dark and actually begins with cold-blooded murder. Is there a warm-blooded murder? I mean, who... There's there's not. Yeah, probably not. I mean, maybe like a crime of passion. Crime of passion? <laughs> would be warm-blooded. Bullshit. Um, I got bugs in my brain. God damn it. I bet there's ticks out here. Ticks are shitty. I think... Don't ticks only come out if it's like really hot? I don't know, man. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I think tall grass... I don't know. So, November 1st of 1886 marks the brutal slaying of a Lafayette storekeeper named David Corker. A year later, on November 11th of 1887, a man named Richard Marple was convicted of the savage murder and was executed by hanging. Whoa. So, a little background about Marple. Richard Marple was 27 years old when he moved to Lafayette from Corvallis with his wife, Julia, and mother, Anna, in 1885. He was a known criminal and made voices. a living from a slew of robberies in the town. Corker, the shopkeeper, was found dead in his shop, having been hacked mercilessly by an ax. Though Marple denied his part in the crime, he continued to speak derogatorily of the deceased. 57-year-old shopkeeper. Dude, I heard some shit. What'd you hear? I heard people talking. They would need flashlights, though. So if it's still dark, there's probably not anybody out here. You are unsetting willingly at ease with this. <laughs> you are scaring me right now. You are too comfortable. What uh, is I wrong with you? In the story. <laughs> no, this is not normal. You should be scared to death right now. Yeah, it's Don't you scary. feel like you're on the verge of like pissing your pants and like quitting everything and changing your name and leaving town? <laughs> I am, My like, name is already too... common enough. I don't even have to change it. If Sarah I hear Jones. one sound, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Well, if, if you want to leave, we can. Thank you. We, of course. Yeah, dude. I'm not going to keep you here against your will. Thank you. Whenever you want to go, we can do that and we'll go back to the campfire and finish telling the story there. Awesome. Okay? Cool. So you just let me know when that happens. Great. This is just not a thing I do every day. So okay. please continue. Go okay. ahead. <clears throat> so Marple was totally like, no, that wasn't me. So later, the police searched Marple's home and found a bloody shirt, a bloody piece, uh, piece of paper in his pants pocket, and tools that may have been used to break into the shop. 
Marple continued to say he was innocent. He even accused the detectives of setting him up. But on April 9th of 1887, a jury convicted him of first degree murder anyway. Originally, his mother, Anna, had been suspected of, uh, had been a suspected accomplice, but her charges were dropped because of insufficient evidence. 30 witnesses gathered within a small wooden stockade next to the county jail in Lafayette to watch the execution. Bastards. Just as Sheriff Harris ordered a black hood be placed over Marple's head, he reportedly yelled out, murder, may God judge you all. Just then, the trap door beneath Richard Marple's feet was released and he hung there, but the knot in the noose slipped beneath his chin. So instead of just snapping his neck and killing him instantly, witnesses watched in horror while the noose slowly tightened, strangling the man over an agonizing 18 minutes. You are a sick person. This is <laughs> twisted. This, this is, is true. very wrong. This is a true story. I just want the record to show I'm not afraid because we're in a cemetery right now. If we were in a cemetery in broad daylight, it would be totally fine. I'm afraid of living human people yeah. that might be out here doing God knows what. Not I'm ghosts too. in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of another living person out here. With yes, us. that's the only thing. Like, Yeah, I'm with you on that. Okay, just so we're clear. Yeah, totally. So, uh, so after the hanging, his mother, Anna, who was referred to as a gypsy or a witch... Of course. Yeah. Any independent woman. You have a lot of notes here. I can't help but notice that this seems like a long portion of reading that we're doing. I'm just saying. <laughs> we're like Please go on. Through. Sure. Keep on um, trucking. Do you hear that? Yeah, I fucking hear that. I've been hearing it. I've been hearing it since I got here. Oh, it's barks. It's dogs. dogs. I am finding religion right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Why did I do this? David? I'm great. Okay. I'm totally fine. I do this all the time. This is a power of anxiety. It will convince you to do crazy fucking shit that you shouldn't be doing, and you will pretend like you're totally fine when you are totally scared to death. Well, that is we're, almost, we're almost through. What and is when we're going through, on? When we're done with the story, we can just get the fuck out of here. We are going to get the fuck out of here like no one has ever gotten the fuck out of any place, <laughs> okay. ever. Okay, so Anna Marple, his mother, uh, who people called her a gypsy or a witch, was heard shouting curses on the town of Lafayette, insisting her son was innocent. But in fact, while awaiting execution, Richard Marple actually confessed his guilt to a fellow inmate and even implicated his mother, saying Anna had wow. worked to get to know the shopkeeper, Corker, to gain his confidence before the grisly murder. Oh, so whether due fair. to the curse of Anna Marple or not, the following year, Lafayette, so like I said, Lafayette became really prosperous with like wine country and like that people coming through. Right after this, and when gold was found in California, Oh, shit. There's dogs barking oh, all around shit. us. Why did I do this? <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. Read, um, read fast. Yeah, so right after the curse, Lafayette's 40 year streak of good fortune stopped short, and the town never regained its former glory. In the years that followed, Lafayette was plagued by disastrous fires. Anna Marple eventually moved to Jacksonville, Oregon, and died of liver cancer on March 11, 1916, at the age of 73. She's not buried here in this cemetery. She's actually buried in the Jacksonville Cemetery. Good for her. So there is this legend about the witch in the cemetery, and people attribute that not to the original story of the woman who was hanged, but rather to Anna Marple, who cursed the town after her son was hanged. And people create, that creates the doubt for a lot of people that the female entity that's seen in the cemetery, it, it, people doubt that it could actually be Anna. Well, that's just sexist. Yeah, but I personally don't see why her spirit couldn't roam here after death if this is the town she wanted to curse. But if I was her, I would get the fuck out of here and go on, like, a good, like, vacation in, like, the south of France or the Mediterranean. Like, why not go haunt, like, a nice, fun, you know, sunny European travel leisure destination? Why not go haunt, you know, Italy and, like, see all the art and, like, the fun old buildings and pasta. Why am I out here? This is insane! <laughs> I, I'm this with you. Insane. I agree, but maybe she's Every, just that oh, bad. My body is screaming at me. Don't do this right now. Okay. No, yeah, I don't understand why ghosts get all haunty about, like, the same spot. Like, why stay in the graveyard? Why would you stay in the same house for a hundred years? Like, get out, see the world. You know, like, now is your chance. Maybe they can't. 
Maybe they can't leave for some reason. They can like walk through walls, but they can't like leave the cemetery. <laughs> please, please. So whoever she is, visitors to the cemetery claim to hear a witch's cackle. They claim to see her ghostly apparition either standing silently. It's not me. I ain't no snitch. I didn't see nothing. I didn't hear nothing. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm not even here right now. Either standing silently or strolling around the graves. And some have even... What the fuck is that? There's a car. Okay. But maybe they're, like, coming to fuck us up. They're not. Maybe it's a sheriff. Maybe it's that pickup truck coming back. Wait for it to pass. But, like, they know we're here. Oh, my fucking God. Is it coming up? I don't know, but I'm so freaked out right now. It's okay. Dude, fuck this. I'm never doing this again. Why did I do this? I shouldn't have done this. No offense. You seem great. It's okay. Did they leave? I don't know. But listen, everybody else got to like hang out in a creepy hotel or like a cemetery <laughs> in the middle of the city at a nice hour. We're out of the middle of no, nowhere in the country in the middle of the night. In the middle, in like in the middle of fucking nowhere though. No. Yeah. Well, fuck this. Oh my god. Fuck this. Fuck, okay. Fuck this. Fuck this. Do you want to go back? Yes. Okay. Wait. That car's going away. Is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. Okay, wait. Let's get the fuck out of here. We can, we can just walk out that way. What do you mean we can just walk out? Walk out the way we can. In the pitch fucking dark. What? In the pitch dark. In the pitch dark. I can't turn my fucking light on. Well, I feel like we shouldn't turn the light, should we? I don't know. Here. Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here. Wait, we came right. Yeah. Hey, good. I think we're actually fine. Okay. Okay, there are like gravestones here that we are walking over. <laughs> we we went this way, right? No, I think it's that way. Oh. Okay. Towards the tree. I don't. I don't. I think we're fine. Yeah, we probably are fine, but you know what? Sometimes <laughs> yeah, no, you gotta I, listen to your instincts. I feel you. <laughs> that okay. very small voice in the pit of your stomach that says, get the fuck out of here. Sometimes you gotta listen to that voice. Okay. So. Okay, go back over that fence. Oh, okay. fence. Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> My old friend, the fence. Yep, safely on this side okay, of the fence. Okay, do you wanna do this? Let's sit right here. <clears throat> I'll finish the legend. You with the sitting, can... okay. Or do you want to sit? We don't have to sit. We don't have to sit. Okay. Sitting is the new smoking, okay. as I say in one of my very old jokes. Okay. Okay. So whoever she is. Right. Visitors claim to see her ghostly apparition either standing silently or strolling around the place. <laughs> and some have even claimed to have been chased by the evil entity. <sighs> this is crazy. So in June of 2002, a young couple new to the area, made a videotape in the cemetery. Of course they did. And only never upon do that. Reviewing, yeah. <laughs> That's never, yeah. Only upon reviewing the recording did they hear a woman's voice moaning, run home. All right. Some who have claimed to have been chased by the witch here describe her screaming at them and lashing with sharp pointed talons. They came out of the cemetery with deep cuts slashed into their backs. The Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery is said to be home to many specters, but the witch is the most alarming by far. Sure. So, I'm a very buddy alarmed. Of mine family lives out here, and well, he hasn't seen the witch himself. He has heard a handful of firsthand experiences of Jesus people. Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck was that? What? I heard. I heard a noise. God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Okay, fine. We can walk back. The story's actually over. Shit, shit, shit. The story's Keep over. talking, God damn it. Get we can walk back. Just I'll tell the rest of the story talk. on the road. Okay. Oh my God. Go, my the That's why we walked up here. Jesus Christ, why did we do this? <laughs> what am I doing? We're done. We did it. Are we done? So We are so done. Um, But okay, I so I was pay. telling my friend Joe about this. He was like... God damn, Joe. Joe. My buddy Joe. I okay. was telling him... What do you got, Joe? Suck it to me. And he was like, oh, my family's from Lafayette. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. 
I was like, have you been to that cemetery? And he was like, yeah, of course I have. What a I've creep. And, and he was like, uh, or I asked him if he'd seen the ghost, and he said no. But he said that he has been to like a couple random bars just out here. That's worse somehow. And, and, <laughs> and talked to people about it, and they showed him pictures on their phone of oh like actual cuts of their back from leaving the cemetery. I think that sounds like a likely story to cover up uh, an extramarital affair, but whatever. <laughs> you know how I saw what looked like a standing be. person over there in the cemetery before? Yeah, isn't that what people were seeing? Well, we made it through without getting we scratched sure did. up. Yeah. Oh and I feel story. like every other comedian got to hang out in a really safe place <laughs> and I am out in the country. Oh my god, I will say though, I do not get scared very easily. Listen, I don't either. Here's I was the thing. fucking terrified sitting there. Dude, and I just for I the record, I'm not like, scared of the ghosts, I'm not scared of the witch, I'm not scared yeah. of any of that shit. I'm scared of human people it in pickup trucks pick with fucking truck. guns Holy and god knows shit. what. Yeah. Human beings scare the shit out of me. Ghosts, yeah. I'm good. We're good, you know? Well, but that old cemetery sitting right there in the grass, in the dark, I was, I must have been holding it up well because you were like, what's wrong with you? I mean, <laughs> truly, I have been like pushed beyond the limits of like human sanity tonight because... Oh God, I'm sorry. I barely know you. We just <laughs> met. I don't know if you're crazy. Like, I don't know where... <laughs> Oh my god, if my mom knew about this, like, oh, She'd be mad. I cannot tell my parents about this. Don't tell your parents. They're gonna freak. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm a good person. Don't She's worry. a good person, I knew that. No, <laughs> like, my other friends had done this beforehand yeah, and they yeah. lived, so... Yeah. Oh my god, what if we get to that house and those people are just gone? Oh Wouldn't my god, what if we got to that house and it was an abandoned oh house? Oh god. That would be fucked up. Oh my... <laughs> This is fucking amazing. I feel like I'm at Disneyland. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Take me home, cut, damn it. <laughs> okay, it's open. Is it? You lied to me before. It should be. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Wait, right. when did I lie? I don't know. This whole thing feels like a lie. Let's get in the car. <laughs> there is no podcast. Oh my god, I will kill you with my bare hands. <laughs> like, I just really wanted to check that place out and I didn't want to go alone. <laughs> oh my god, you said fuck. Oh, mm -hmm. dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I we did it, though. We got the other house. Well, we did it. We survived the adventure at the Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery and made some new friends along the way. Remember that Freddy Krueger tree? You can check out the picture they sent me posted on the Instagram. I'm pretty impressed with how spooky it turned out. Check it out at Lit Dark Podcast, L-I-T-D-A-R-K Podcast, while you're at it, check out our Facebook and Twitter, too. Our website is litdarkpodcast.com. We are all over the place. You can find Becky on her website at beckybronstein.com. That's B-E-C-K-Y-B-R-A-U-N-S-T-E-I-N.com. Look for her on Twitter, at Becky from Alaska, and on Instagram, at Becky Bronstein. She also has an illustration series found mostly on Instagram. Find it at hashtag fatanimals. Special thanks for this episode goes to Sarah Schneider, my manager, Jonathan Cooper, my graphic designer, Randall Lawrence, my producer, Nick Wilson at Bridge City Media and Design, Dan Stutzman for being you and all you do, Becky Bronstein, my guest, and a very special thank you to all of you for listening. If you love this show, show your support. Be sure to rate, share, comment, and please subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much for listening.